The film which you are about to see is an account of the tragedy which befell a group of five youths, in particular Sally Hardesty and her invalid brother Franklin. It is all the more tragic in that they were young. But had they lived very, very long lives, they could not have expected, nor would they have wished to see as much of the mad and macabre as they were to see that day. For them, an idyllic summer afternoon drive became a nightmare. The events of that day were to lead to the discovery of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Let me open video. Do not get permission. I will sue. All right, guys, I have some very exciting news. We are, what, five minutes away from Bastrop? Or actually, we're probably in Bastrop right now. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre gas station from the original 1974 film. We've taken a road trip. We're very excited. We're also very terrified. I have my mom back here in the back of the Jeep. My stepdad's driving. He's taking command of the steering wheel. This is a very terrifying trip that we have taken. We do not know if they still serve human meat there. Drayton Sawyer, Leatherface's brother. Oh shit, I knew that was gonna happen. Leatherface's brother owned the gas station. He has passed away since, but we, we hear stories about Leatherface is still out there lurking and we are just, we're trembling in fear. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'm scared. Did you, uh, we're two minutes away. How many times did you see the 1974 uh, horror classic? I see. First time I was uh, 13 years old at the drive in. Oh, you saw it at the drive in? Yes. That's cool. And then, well, I've seen it on TV here and there over the years, but not no more. So he doesn't watch horror movies anymore, but he allowed me to watch it when I was like 12 years old, which is a CPS, Child Protective Service violation. I got my mom in the back here. She hates horror movies. I can't believe she's going. I'm terrified. This is my mom. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, son. And we're going to do a food review once we get over to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre gas station. We'll record a little bit more there, and I'll do a food review. We're also going to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. We're going to take a day trip over there once we get to the resort. So that's going to be exciting. Uh, it's, it's a restaurant now. Again, we don't know if they serve human meat or not, but we're hoping not. And uh, both of the places got great reviews on Yelp. So, uh, all right, we'll uh, record a bit. We'll record once we get to the gas station, guys. Talk to you later. We're close. We're about a half a mile away, guys. There's a cemetery. The Sawyers could be buried over there, many of them. Is this it? Oh yeah, baby! The gas station! We slaughter. Look at that. Ooh. Texas Chainsaw Massacre gas station! The iconic sign, We Slaughter Barbecue. And I'm wondering where the... They have a replica of the van from the 74 film. It's probably in the back. I'm not sure if that truck was in the movie. It looks like it's something from the movie. It looks like a prop. Sure so there it is. We're gonna record. Hopefully we don't have any issues recording inside. I don't think so. Get your mask. Get out. Get oh yeah, out. give me a mask out. My favorite horror movie of all time, The Gas Station, Bass Drop, Texas. My mom. Let me get a, let me get a mask. Oh, okay. There's the iconic sign. Very cool. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, check this out. In memory of those who went before us. We got the chainsaw. We got the hammer that he used to kill the first victim. A 
and then we got the mask there. What do we got here? So Gunnar Hansen, Jim Seidel, which was the cook here, Robert Corton, the window washer at the gas station, Toby Hooper, director and producer, Bob Burns, art director. All these guys have passed away since. Marilyn Burns, who played Sally Hardesty, and then Paul Partain, who played the handicapped guy, Franklin. So very cool little bench there. Hopefully I'm not zoomed in too much. And then we have the expression I think was in part three, the saw is family. Well, I didn't even see these. They have names down here as well. It says Leatherface was never a monster, just an insecure artistic family man with a chainsaw. R.I.P. Gunner. The saw is law, a Texas tradition. And we have in memory of one of let's say ones we haven't lost yet the Sawyer family Josh Sarah Chloe and Lyrica Lyrica R.I.P. Droopy 2007 to 2018 you boys don't want to go messing around in that old house I think they say that at the gas station if I remember correctly look look what your brother did to the door yeah that's an expression when he chainsaws through the door uh, Texas 1974, they just don't make horror like that anymore. Dog will hunt. That's what they say about Leatherface. All right, I'm not going to read all of them. Please do not sit on Memorial Bench. Oh, there's the van right there. There's the van back there. We'll look at that in a minute. Hey, let me see the mask. Let's go in. Here, hold on one second. Hold on. Oh, very cool. Look at this guy, Michael Myers. How much does Michael cost? Have some electron, like there might be someone hit pulled on the arm, so oh, okay. like discounted and oh, okay. things like that. So we just call and ask them, but they kind of we have a bigger box and they kind of on a screen go down. And okay, we got yeah. Freddy, <clears throat> we got Scream. Wow, they got all kinds of cool stuff in here. Look at this, good guys, that's a huge one. Look at all the masks. Very cool. You want to order, you want to order food? Well, let's re let me record in here a little bit and, and just kind of show the place off. Okay, like I said, you walk around the corner and it's right here on the end. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Uh -huh. All these Freddies. Look at these. What are these? I don't even know what these are. Are these movies? What are these? Are these movies? No. Those are actual figures. Oh, those are, oh, those are figures. Yeah, okay. So pretty much the only movies that we sell are what in the case over here. Everything else is like collectible figures and things like that over right here. We have pens and magnets and stickers and chalk glasses, a little bit of everything. Y'all okay. opened up like, what, four years ago? You got the Annabelle. I just vid visited the whole Annabelle uh, series or video or movies. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Very cool. Yeah, so 
Are you just driving through, passing through, or where are you going? Yeah, they, uh, they invited me to go to San Antonio with them, and uh, I was kind of on the fence about going, but then just randomly I mentioned that the Texas Chainsaw, that's my favorite horror movie of all time, was my favorite, um, I, I randomly mentioned that it's only like two and a half hours from us, the gas station. Yeah. Yeah, and then I, and then I said that you know four and a half hours was the house, and then and then all of a sudden my stepdad was like, okay, we're gonna visit both of them. I was like, okay, I'm going. Definitely. I'm in. Yeah, the owner is a diehard fan of the original. He's from Ohio. And, uh, yeah, I was reading. When he found out, he's like, oh, I'm gonna go buy that property when it's available. <laughs> yeah, I was re I was reading about him. Yeah. This is a picture. Of does this Coke machine have any significance with the movie? Um, it was, it, there was one that was similar that was out front. Oh, okay. So, like, that was, this is the original picture from the movie. Do you mind being on camera? Do you mind being on no, camera? that's fine. So they tried to, um, Very cool. get the same colored chairs and everything out there. We have a van parked in yeah, the back. Yeah, it's a replica of that one, right? Mm -hmm. Not the original though, right? No. And the truck is a replica, of course, it's not the same. Oh, I was wondering about the truck, yeah, yeah out there, yeah. It was white in the movie and, um. But they try to get something. And there's like only like I think three cast members left, right? I believe so. I know two of them are gonna be here on next Saturday. Oh wow. Oh, See I was I was telling them oh, yeah. yeah, I was telling them that you, randomly they could be here. You just yeah. never know. Well, the van driver, Alan Danzig, I don't know where he lives around here because of course he's not gonna tell us, but yeah. my first day on the job he came in with a barbecue and they said he comes he'll just drop in every Okay, and the other guy's name is Ed, uh... I think it's Quinn or... Quinn. Yeah, the guy who played the hitchhiker. Well, um, yes, but the truck driver, his name is Ed, uh... He's an Ed, too, I can't... The last name is Quine, Quinn, the way you pronounce it. Oh, okay. Uh, and he's the one that's going to be here, so the truck driver and the van driver will be here next Saturday. Okay. From I, 1 to 6. I noticed that, like, on the reunions, that, that Ed guy is always there. He's, yeah. very, he's a very funny guy. Yeah. So those books right there have a lot of like the autographed pictures that we sell. So um, of course, because they're here, this one's all like the Chainsaw Massacre different cast, and we sell we sell it's what's on the end, and then we just give you the whole sleeve, and you can have them framed. Or, and then the black binder is just like you know, um, anyone who's playing Jason and all those other. Who's the driver? You, you mentioned the driver. The driver of the... The van? Of the, van? the driver yes. of the van. So it was one of the people that got killed in the movie. Uh, is, yes. Is he, he in... He was one with the, the afro kind of. This is him. Oh, him okay, okay. So he's still alive. Yes. Okay, see, I'd never see him in the reunions for whatever he's reason. He's a lot older and white hair and everything, but yeah. Very so, cool. If he's one of them. And he's, like I said, he's the one that they were telling me. He just stopped in like, and had some barbecue sometimes. And then someone else, uh, uh, have you had people, yeah, you guys can go ahead and order inside, I can figure it out. That's the menu right there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, go, yeah, I'm paying, that's fine. Go ahead and order. I'm, I'm unemployed and I'm paying. Go ahead. I'm just playing. <laughs> My mom, Mother's Day. Um, what was I going to ask you? Go ahead and go ahead and order. Oh, as far as as far as like famous people, you've had some famous people in here, right? To come in here, uh, I was reading up on. Uh, what, what, a lot of different people and people that yeah, already been in horror movies. Like some yeah, yeah. I don't see them. I'm more familiar with them because I, I just started. Not oh, you don't have. Oh, okay. Fries? Fries? No. Okay. No. We only have pinto beans, potato salad, okay. and coleslaw. Okay. 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 And if you want to the spicy sausage, it's not just the spice; it's got jalapenos. So oh. We have regular and then we have the spicy. Okay. I'm going to get the combo plate. Okay, did you want it with the spicy or the regular? Regular. Okay, and what two sides would you like? Uh, potato salad and let me see, what else is your size? Yeah, pinto beans or coleslaw. Let me get uh, pinto beans. Okay. And that comes with brisket, right? Yes, it's going to have brisket and sausage. Some, okay, perfect, salad. perfect. Mm -hmm. you just, if you want to Where are the drinks are? But they're all behind you. Oh, that's right. Huh? I'm 
We get a we sausage, sausage we get wrap. Yeah, we get a sausage wrap. Got Jason over here. Oh man, that's scary. Look at that. Look at that. It comes with um, pickles, onions, and sauce, or do you want it just... A gas pump. Yeah. No onions, or... Um, just the sauce. Is that old gas, gas pump. Did you want a side with it, or just a sandwich? Um, I'll have the... It's first yeah. Do you know if it has pickles in it? Uh, yes, it Really does. cool poster right lunch. here. Yeah. Um, I'll have the pinch of pickles. Okay. Um, That's a cool one right there. Sorry about the glare. Get it after the food's ready. Yeah. 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 Wait, 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 I think that's okay, a what name do you want me to put it under? Scream Factory oh, Friday the 13 yeah. box set right okay. there. Okay. And then three drinks, the two brisket sandwiches, one all the way, one sauce only, the combo plate with regular sausage, and then. Thank you. Here's your receipt right there. And I'm going to just hand this to them so they can start working on it. Okay. I'd have to buy something at least. Let's see the shirts. We have shirts to go here. Oh wow, rest on the shirt. Hmm. It's not very Mother's Day. Let me see. Let's see if they have a Texas Chainsaw Massacre shirt. Um, uh, let me look at it in a minute. You remember this movie? This is a good 80s film. What's that one? You don't remember that, Night of the Demons? Night of the Demons, yeah. Okay. Come on, Texas Chainsaw, where you at? That's actually a Texas Chainsaw, but that's the uh, second one. There we go. <laughs> Sticking the finger the up. Finger. <laughs> All right, hold that, but that's not, I don't think that's the right size. Yeah, it looks so small. Yeah, I don't think that's the right size. It's a size small. That's a cool one right there. What size is that? Franklin and Sally Hardesty. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, they're all hanging out, Jason, Freddie, and uh, Leatherface. That's kind of cool. This is a big shirt right here. This should be... I need a double XL, I think. That's a 4 XL. Ooh, that's too big. That's too big. I put those two back because they're smells. 
This might be the right size. No, that's too small. That's huge. That can't be. That's 5XL probably. Medium. Uh, yes. <sighs> Extra large. Just walk out, follow the sidewalk around. Or you can walk this way and just take a 2X. Look at this shirt. You take a 2X, you said? Yeah. You know, once you do. Twist your ankle. And there's a public version on the corner on the side of the sidewalk. Ooh. Well, I can't show that on YouTube. I'm kind of surprised we have this stuff. <laughs> kids, kids can come in here. Hey, I'm not playing. All right. Want this shirt? Hey. This might be, oh no, it's a long sleeve. Deadly night, Jaws. Let's see. Is that? Sunday, though. Yeah, I mean, you never know, though. How can I help you, sir? Guess we'll go down to Hikeham. Should I go in? Don't try to do that. Exorcist doll? You want that for Mother's Day? Do you need them to go, then? No. Do you want them all the way? They come with people that Saw. Okay, all four? Yeah. Okay, no signs. I almost said I couldn't find a shirt over there that I wanted. We'll go down there. We're coming up to go down here. Chopping sandwich, all four, no onions. Right, that's right there, right there. That was two twenty eight fifty. Were you in here the other day? Yeah. I was gonna say you look familiar. So I was like, Marilyn Burns and Sally Hardesty. Oh no. Iconic dining room uh, scene where she's screaming. Marilyn Burns. This is the guy who gets hit over the head with the hammer and drugged it, drugged into the uh, the room of hell. There's the iconic hook from the uh, room where they hang the uh, girl on the hook in her back. The 
grandpa go? Let's go check outside and record outside. All right, guys. This is a uh, this is not a real. So uh, confirmed with the lady inside. This is a replica, I guess, of uh, one of the trucks that was in the movie. So um, let's go back and find, uh, check out the van, the van that the uh, Sally Hardesty and her friends were uh, driving in, which, you know, of course stopped at this gas station. There's the van right there. Again, just a replica, but pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's me. Hey, yeah. hey, the food's ready. Hey, grab a water. Hey, grab a water. So there's the van. I'm gonna do a food review. Um, so we'll uh, we'll come back here probably and check it out more thoroughly. When my food's ready, so I'm gonna do a food review. Uh, people wrote stuff on it. I don't know if, you get, if it's coming, if it's picking up on the camera. Someone wrote "Poor Sally," "R.I.P." to a lot of the uh, cast members. So that's pretty cool. All right, back at it. The tail salad's good, but it's not great. My mom knows how to make some tail salad. Mm. He's nearly cl cleaned the plate already. <laughs> What'd you have? Same thing. Brisket sandwich. sandwich. Very good. Yeah, this is good. All right, let me try the brisket. Oh, you know what? It's some barbecue sauce. How's this mm -hmm. barbecue sauce? Good. That might be. It, it might be a little spicy though, because I'm tasting spicy when I put that on there. Oh shoot. Oh, you need now. I don't know sanitizer, but yeah. After touching that door, I forgot about that. I washed my hands already. I have some here. All right, let me get some of that, please. Oh yeah, I'm brisket. Thank you. I know. I was mad I didn't have shirts that I wanted. The right size. You gonna buy one of them hats? Did you get them hats? Mm -hmm. I didn't see the hats. Brisket is really good. Yeah, I mean, brisket is really good. Yeah, it's nice and tender. Good. It's good. They, don't sell, they don't sell like banana pudding here and stuff. Sell so what? They have dessert. Huh? They have dessert. What? I didn't see no dessert in here. Well, I didn't either, but. I'm not going to rate everything individually, but I would say overall this plate is rated all together. 3.5 out of 5. Good, but not like mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Are you blown away? Am I blown away? No. no but the is but this, this is different. I mean, like I said, it's... 
Well, you know, I didn't even know it was out here. So. Yeah, definitely worth the stop. That memorial was all for the, the Texas Chainsaw uh, cast. What was that? That memorial out there was for the cast? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was to everybody that um, passed away from the cast. Mm -hmm. yeah. And on the on the van windshield, you can see people wrote yeah. with their finger, rest yeah. in peace Sally, and yeah. rest in peace this person, rest in peace that person. I saw a guy that was taking a picture that he did it. He did it. <coughs> <coughs> Even. Is, it, is that the actual van or a replica? Replica. Oh. <clears throat> the truck's a replica, too. Was that truck in the movie, too? Yeah, I don't remember where, but I think it's probably just parked by the house. They're talking about on one of the reunions how stuff taken from the house or taken from the movie is worth so much money now. And like, you know, the <laughs> mat that he wore. <laughs> oh, oh good. Did you see the plank in there anywhere? Did they, they sell it? Oh yeah, I need to ask about that. I didn't see that. See, that ain't the See what? All right, let me show you guys a few things here. So this right here, this stage right here, I'm sure they probably set up a movie screen here. Because I heard that uh, you can come watch movies here. She did say inside, I think I got it on, on uh, I think I recorded it, that uh, the driver of the van is coming next Saturday. So we literally just missed it by a week. So back here are cabins that you can rent behind the gas station and stay for the night which is pretty freaking cool they're really small and let's go behind here a little barbecue right there so and you got these woods back here which Leatherface could be out here in these woods I mean you don't know you're really risking your your life This looks like a scene from the movie where they're running through the woods. Absolutely terrifying. I do not know how much these cost per night. But... I'm wondering if they do something and have like a chainsaw sound at nighttime that's to scare you. But I don't know. I don't know what they do. <clears throat> so there's a total of what? One, two, three, four, five of them. Let's go back to the van over here. More woods over here. So you're, it's a cabin, cabins in the woods, you know, a cabin in the woods. So the hitchhiker would have been back here. 
Let's see if we can open this up. Ah, oh, shoot, it won't open. Ah, oh, probably for safety reasons. That sucks. But anyway, in the back of the van here, the hitchhiker would have been sitting down in the back where he burned the pitcher and grabbed the knife from Franklin, which would have been, Franklin would have been over here sitting in this location next to this window in the wheelchair he grabbed the knife from him and then cut his arm the driver will be here next saturday of this green van i can't remember where sally hardesty was sitting to be honest with you but yeah man that's pretty badass Texas Chainsaw Massacre gas station, Texas Chainsaw Massacre van, Texas Chainsaw Massacre cabins in the woods. <clears throat> Are you the owner? No, I just. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, the food was good, man. Appreciate you. Said, like, you're talking about some, you know, Jason Brewer's whatever. Yeah. He said, I asked him about the, you know, you hear a chainsaw in the middle of the night where you're trying to sleep. He goes, he goes, no, the insurance won't allow it. I said, well, what about Halloween night? You know, at least one night out of the year. He goes, no, we, we can't do any of that. Oh, really? So we'll lose our policy if we did that. Just for making a noise? Well, yeah. You know, as long as you warn people warning, sometimes during the middle of the night, you may hear a chainsaw. Do not come out of your place, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, they kind of look out the window. Oh, they dressed up and leatherface out there. Oh, I was saying to the YouTube over there is where they uh, they, they screen the movie. They show the movie. Yeah, that's what I figured that's what Yeah, that's what that is over there. <clears throat> and it would be cool if they were like in the woods, the cabins, but there's actually woods behind it. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. He said something already already it out. Ma'am, ma'am, level with me. That was not human meat that we just ate. Yes, it was. Oh my God, are you serious? That was awesome. I got a little bit of piece of my fingernail in my mouth. Yeah, and that way you tasted the crunch. Oh man, this is not good. What else were we gonna ask? There was another question. Oh, you done filming? We can go right Yeah. Oh, we're gonna ask the cost of the cabins. The what? You did. Oh, how much does it cost for the cabins for the night? Oh, to stay? 79 during the week and what do you say, 100 something during the weekends? 79 a night? Yeah, on the week, weekdays. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah, I mean, come in here on Monday to, you know, you want to say? I mean, you do it on a day when someone's out here from the movie and you get autographs from him and a day that they're showing the film here. Yeah. You make a day, that'd be cool. Okay, All right, I think that's it. Here's the back of the gas station, an iconic location in the greatest horror movie of all time. All right, guys and girls, we just entered Kingsland, the home of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. Just to let you guys know, um, was it Red Rock, Mom, or was it Red... Uh, Round Rock. Round Rock. This, this place used to be, the house used to be in Round Rock. They relocated it to Kingsland, Texas. They had to separate into six different pieces and put it all back together. But we're very excited. We're about to be at the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. We just stopped at the gas station. Got my mom in the back. My stepdad's pumping gas right now. The gas station attendant told us to turn around. Do not head to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. He warned us, but we're still heading there. 
Uh, we have heard rumors that there have been a lot of missing people reports filed in the area. There has also been some grave robberies once again. We're terrified, but we're going to still do this, guys. We're doing it for you, the subscriber. And, um, yeah, anything you have to say, Mom? I'm so scared. Yeah, I'm scared, too. Wait a second, Mom. What is that over there? <clears throat> I think that's a hitchhiker. It looks like he's holding a Polaroid camera. Should we pick him up? Yeah, let's. All right, let's do it. We should have never picked up that hitchhiker. I'm glad we got him out the vehicle. Jesus. There it is, the house. Texas Chainsaw Massacre house, guys. All we want is something to eat. We don't want any problems. What was that? I hear a chainsaw in the background. Very, very cool. I think that might be the window that Sally Hardesty escaped the house. I'm not sure, but she escaped out the window. Let's go over here. Although it could be one of these windows right here. It might be that window right there, actually. But there it is, guys. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. That, that window up there might be where her stunt double jumped out of. Yes, let's go inside. <clears throat> oh, shoot. Are there? No, I meant to. So up here, up these stairs, at the top of these stairs, that's the window that they jumped out of, or she jumped out of. Yeah, It's that one, yeah, yeah. Thank you. This right here is the window that her stunt double, or whoever was working on it, someone, someone did it for her. Sally Hardesty didn't do it herself. But she jumped out of that window. And up here, come up here, Mom. Oh, very cool, very cool. So check this out. So when they came up here, this is where Grandpa Sawyer was at. And look, he's sitting right over there. Grandpa Sawyer. Very cool. And I think Grandmother was sitting over here. So I'm not sure why she's not here right now, but Grandpa Sawyer is there. He's still alive, by the way. He's like 200 years old. What do we got here? Some kind of artwork. It has changed a lot. I'm assuming these are original wooden floors, which is really cool. Up here, we got a picture of the hitchhiker. We just picked up someone like him that looked very similar to him. So there's the table. 
the famous dining room table scene with Grandpa Sawyer at the head of the table. We're upstairs. There's that famous door yeah. where he slides, where after he uses the hammer on his victim, he slams that sliding door. I'm gonna show you that door right now in a minute. Yeah, come up here and ch check it out up here. Okay. This is that famous scene where the uh, cinematographer put the camera on a track and as the girl got closer and closer to the house, she became smaller and the house became larger and it viewed like right under her booty shorts, which was a great view, but it was really cool how... It was really cool how she got smaller and the house got bigger. Her. Very intimidating. And this right here is that room of death behind that steel door. That's the guy that got hit with the hammer. And that's, I uh, can't remember her, what, what her name was, but Let's check out over here. Very cool stuff, guys. <clears throat> Let's go downstairs. I'm going to show you that sliding door. So this right here is where the door, so he used the hammer right here. I don't know if I'm, al I don't know if I'm allowed to go. Oh, it was there. Okay, very cool. So it's not here anymore, but, hello. The hammer was used here. This is where the, the metal door was. Yeah, right, the hammer was used here. And he starts convulsing on the floor. Drags them in. Uh -huh. Could you hold this real quick? Yeah. Just don't press any buttons. And then Leatherface casts him over here and takes the door. Boom! Shuts it, slams it super hard. That's a scary scene. Very scary. <laughs> Thank you so much. And you know which room's which, right? No. This is the bone room up here. This is the room where all the bones were hanging. <laughs> This is the room where all the bones are on the floor. Hanging from the ceiling. Very cool. This is the main dining room scene. So then that's the window she jumped out of. She jumped out of an upstairs window. Yeah, but there's two windows at the end. Didn't she escape? Am I mixing something up? up? She jumped, jumped out of that one window. Right oh, there was only one window yeah. that was jumped out of. Where the railing is right here. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Where the railing is right there, that's the one that she jumped out of. Okay. For some reason I was thinking there was two. All right. Okay. This, this half of the house was not used during the filming of the movie. Oh, it wasn't? No, because it was, it was a, they had it rented out. Oh, okay. Okay. And okay. the people that were renting the house lived over here. During oh, the okay. Filming. And where was the, um, well, it must be the kitchen, right? What's that? Where was the room of hell where he, where he, where he hung her on the hook? It was actually in the basement. Oh, it was? Yes. Oh, okay. So that was in the basement. Yeah. All right, the right. stairs at Grandpa's side. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Grandma's missing from up there because I think she was in the film as well, but. Uh, was she in it? I think so, yeah. I don't remember. Okay, I so that's remember. cool. That I'd be lying to you if I told you. Where do they see that? But you know what? The bartender that's in there? Yeah. She can tell you anything you want to know. Oh, okay. Where is mean, she at? She, I'll show you. <sighs> this is your buddies, right? Oh, yeah. That's my buddies, yeah. 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 Big movie fan. Hello, how you doing? Hey, 
Hey, didn't uh, there was two windows that were jumped out during the movie? The upstairs yeah. window oh, yeah. and downstairs. yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. It, by two different girls, right? Or was it one? It was the same girl. Same so girl, she, Sally uh, Hardesty. Yeah, she went out the yeah. The that's how she escaped in the end of the movie. Yeah, was out the was front the window. Front window, okay. The, I thought the bone room or the chicken room. Yeah, yeah, and uh, also upstairs there was grandmother too. It wasn't just yeah, grandpa. Grandma was upstairs. What's that? Uh, water. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, grandma was upstairs and grandpa, but grandma was already mummified. Oh yeah, yeah, and for sure. Grandpa was still kind of. And he's still alive up there. He's still, still alive. alive. He doesn't die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Was this room used in the filming? This is the add-on. Oh, this is the add-on. Okay. Okay. And what's interesting also is, um, you know, the room of, I call it the room of hell, where uh, he hits him with a hammer and pulls him back in there and then puts him in the cooler and hangs her on the hook. It's in the kitchen. That would be in the kitchen. Well, she's telling me it's in a basement, oh. but we don't have it. Oh, so that is the kitchen. No, it, it, is there still a, yeah, I got to see that. I got to see that. Right, so we've gutted out some of this. So there used to be two doors on each side. You're more welcome to speak. There used to be a door over here. That, it was it, here. So the, the the cooler and stuff would have been right here. Okay, the cooler would have been here. Okay. Yeah. And there's a hung on the hooks and stuff in here. The hooks still in there? Mm -mm. Oh, that'd be no, cool. No, we've taken it all down. So right here, where, where the room would have been at with the hook. Yep. Okay. This would have been your kitchen. Hello. Your freezer. And then this would be where the and that was a prop, but it was a doorway. With a big yeah, yeah, I had someone hold it to hold the camera for me, and I went like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then so it cropped, so it made it look like this is a whole other room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. That, that helps out a lot. Very cool. So, yeah, and then um, they actually people lived on this side of the house. These were the people that lived on this side of the house. When oh, during the filming? filming? Yeah. Oh, wow. Movie. That's a cool uh, fun fact right there. Yeah. And then the house is actually over a Sears Robox home, so it's bought through a Sears catalog. Oh, really? In the 1909. Oh, wow. It's known as a German cottage. That is cool. Yeah. Was there any reason why it was moved here, do you know, from uh, Round Rock? Or is it just... Well, the Frontera Shopping Center sits there now. Oh, okay. They bought that. Yeah, they oh, bought okay. it out. And so instead of uh, tearing this down and condemning it, right. they bought it. And moved it over here in 98 and have it in seven different pieces. Oh, seven. I was saying six in the car. Okay, seven. Okay. Yeah, and here's a little article right here of how they moved it and everything and where, where it was sitting. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Um, I was going to ask you something else. And then when it first opened up, it was not like, it wasn't Texas Chainsaw Massacre fans. It was like people that, that didn't promote it like you guys are doing. Yeah, it was called the Junction House. Okay, so, so how long has this been? Um, since, um, Eight years now. Okay. Is when they okay. Promoting the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. All right. Well, I'll get some recordings some more. Yeah, my, yeah. my parents are looking at me like, come over here. And... So we also have got the big red building. You can go in it. The barn that's out back here. Yeah. That was um, part of the movie. And it sat over there in the same place as the house did. And Brown Rock, Texas. The red barn. I'm trying to remember. There's a red barn back here. Oh, but if, I don't know if it was in the movie, but I know. You could see it. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Well, we stopped at the gas station in Bastrop and did that first. Yeah, so we checked that out. Yeah, gas yeah really cool. Yeah. We already, we already started chowing down, but my mom got the BLT with uh, sweet, sweet potato fries. I got the chicken fried chicken with green beans and uh, mashed potatoes. And he got the same thing basically, but he got corn with it. We'll give you a review in the car after we uh, finish all this up. Texas Chainsaw Massacre food. Oh, yeah. So there's a piece of oh, yeah. granite over there, gravel. Yeah, that came from the slaughterhouse in the movie. Oh, cool. That's really cool. Yeah. From the slaughterhouse in the 74 film, right? Yep. Cool.
sideways. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Okay. So, as we go down the hallway, okay. this is, these people are the original owners of the house. So they were married here. That's them on the steps. That's them cutting their cake. This is their families who own and bought the house in 1909. And they still come and visit us. Now where are those? And these are the people who lived on the half, the other half of the house when the movie is being filmed. Oh, very cool. Yes. And this way. Sorry. These are all original wood floors from all the... All original. Okay. Yep. Sure, sir. They come in and redo them all the time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, and then I told you, this is the only thing we have missing in the house. And they took apart from okay. where the door was. Okay. And then the they stainless... had to up. Yeah, the yep. stainless door. Okay. So it made it look like that was a whole other room. Yeah, right, right. Way. And then, I always tell everybody, this is the dining area. So this is where the long dining room table was. Okay. And then there's the... Uh, door where they go in back and forth from the kitchen to the dining room. Okay, I remember that. You know I, mean? I remember that. And that's yeah. the window right there she jumped out of? That's not. Oh, no, no it's not. One. That's right. So I call this my bone room and my chicken room. Okay. So this is where all the furniture was made out of bone. Okay. You the chicken feathers and everything on the Okay. Floor. So that would have been the window she jumped out of. She jumped out of that window. Yeah. Okay. All right, perfect. And then here's our famous stairs. And I can't imagine bringing this wheelchair with grandpa on it down these steps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so steep. So this also used to be um, the bar before it was the um, open floor plan. But it used to be right. bedrooms in 1909. So it okay. with your bedrooms. Cool. But now it's where grandpa sits. And Grandma and Grandpa both sat over here in this area. Now there was like a door before, right? Yep. To get into it. It was, it was a bedroom. Okay. Because yep. these were bedrooms. Okay. And, uh, What's the significance of these uh, pictures? I know they weren't in the movie, but just artwork from oh, somebody. Oh yeah, just somebody brought them oh, here, okay. and they want to sell them, so we put them up. Hey, Grandpa. And then, and then somebody brought us that, and the rest are just little cubby holes. We have so much crawl space. Would you like to check them out? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. So I followed a medium up here one day. Really? I was like, "What do you hear? What do you know?" She says that there's a guy who stays up here, and he always goes into this bathroom. He goes, "This is where I come." To smoke my cigars. Oh, and creepy. Yeah. So that's the bathroom. This is just our storage room, but these used to be bedrooms, like I said. Okay. And it kind of gives you an image of what the rooms used to look like. Really cool. Yeah. And then the fireplace actually used to go all the way down, but it's not a fireplace. Oh, okay. Anymore. So in the house, you know what I mean? There used to be a fireplace that went really all the way down. Okay. All the way down. I think it was on that side. What am I on this one? Oh yeah. Oh, and this is the window that she flew out of. Okay. Yeah. On the top yeah. floor. And she didn't do it. Someone did it for her because yeah. she was scared to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and that's the window. So that's my tour to give everybody. Well, we appreciate your yes, help, man. Yes, yeah, yes, awesome. Thank you, so, Thank you yes. so much. Y'all enjoy your time. All right. Well, she said it was a red barn. Yeah, she said in, during the movie, I think it was a white barn, if I remember correctly. But well, there's the barn. They brought that as well from, uh, keep on forgetting what it was, uh, Red Rock or, yeah. So, I'm not going to go over there because it's, it's really grown up and there's like mud. You got this railroad track right here. But there it is. At some point in the movie, they show a barn. I'm going to have to watch it again to, to remember, but I think that's what it was. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. There's the back of the house. All right, that's it. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Very cool. You guys hear that? I think I heard a chainsaw.